Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Rami Schneiderman and I'm a research associate at the Technical University of Munich. Uh, in this brief talk, I would like to introduce you an emerging technology uh, for ultrasound sensing, which is based on silicon photonics optical resonators. So uh, we are all uh, very well familiar with uh, medical ultrasound that use for real-time imaging. And in this modality, uh, linear piezoelectric arrays are usually utilized. Um, uh, such arrays are commercially available, like uh, the one in this picture, and they offer uh, resolutions on the order of uh, several hundred of microns. If you would like to use uh, this array for real-time optoacoustic imaging, uh, the resolution offered uh, would not be sufficient because in optoacoustic imaging we look at absorber sizes uh, that range from several microns to several hundreds of microns. So if I would like to compose a wish list um, for a perfect array for optoacoustic imaging, I would like this array to have uh, uh, many hundreds of elements. I would like uh, each element to respond to uh, frequencies as high as uh, 150 megahertz uh, because uh, this correspond to the frequencies emitted from, uh, uh, from, from blood cells. And uh, I would like it to offer resolution as small as uh, 10 microns or even smaller. And of course, uh, a, a very uh, small pitch uh, in order to maintain high uh, lateral resolutions. So, we already know that optical resonators uh, fulfill some of these criteria. Uh, two points where optical resonators are not yet there are uh, the size, which is um, uh, much larger, much larger than uh, would, the resolution we would like to have, and of course arrays were not yet demonstrated. So, as an example, let's look at this uh, plano concave resonator that is realized in a, a single mode uh, silica fiber. Uh, what limits its miniaturization is the low, effective, low refractive index contrast between the core of the fiber and the cladding of the fiber. On the other hand, um, in silicon photonics, rectangular waveguides with uh, submicron cross sections were already demonstrated for many years. And um, the reason for this drastic miniaturization is the strong. Uh, refractive index contrast between the silicon core and the silica cladding. So if you are to realize this uh, resonator in the silicon photonic platform, uh, we would expect 450-fold um, miniaturization in sensor area. Uh, additional advantage of the silicon photonics uh, platform are the availability of uh, active components like photodetectors, uh, switches, and uh, um, uh, different multiplexing schemes that can support uh, uh, parallel signal, signal readout from large sensor arrays. Silicon is a hard material, so it may deter people from considering it for ultrasound sensing. Indeed, if you look at the expression for the sensitivity of optical resonators, the last term in this equation, which is termed the acoustical phase sensitivity, represents the deformability of the structure, structure, structures to the ultrasound. So indeed for polymer structures, this, this uh, term is seven fold larger uh, than for silicon structures. But if you look at the first term um, in the sensitivity expression, which represent the ability of the structure to confine light, we can see that silicon structures can do it much better, uh, actually one or two orders of magnitude. Uh, better. So potentially, uh, in contradiction to intuition, uh, silicon photonics structures can be more sensitive to ultrasound than polymer structures. So the question arises why first silicon photonic structures could not detect longitudinal waves at all? And um, the reason in that uh, lies in the design of those structures. So traditionally, uh, the silicon waveguide is embedded in a few millimeters of silica cladding. The acoustic impedance mismatch between the silica and water results in most of the ultrasound being reflected um, from the top surface of the uh, chip before even reaching uh, into the resonator and being detected. As an example, we can consider this silicon resonator 
uh, constructed by bringing close together two distributed uh, Bragg reflectors. Such resonators are commonly used as optical notch filters. And of course, the optical field will be uh, concentrated around the cavity section. In order to um, realize the full sensitivity potential uh, of this resonator, uh, we modified this design by substituting one of the uh, Bragg reflectors with a thin metallic um, layer. Uh, in this case, the uh, optical field inside of the cavity has a much larger uh, overlap with the ultrasonic field, which um, improves sensitivity. Uh, we realized an array of eight of such uh, sensors uh, with a pitch of uh, 10 micron. And you can see that already all of this array is smaller than a single uh, uh, optical uh, fiber. Um, we were able to increase the sensitivity uh, of this device by several orders of magnitude uh, over the embedded resonator. We also did a lot of work in transforming those resonators into sensors that can be integrated into optoacoustic preclinical imaging systems. Specifically, we developed robust interface uh, to read the signals from the resonators and a stable uh, packaging. Here you can see uh, two examples of optoacoustic mesoscopic images with the sensors uh, of vasculature mimicking phantoms constructed of carbon fibers and a hexagonal uh, uh, submicron mesh. All those micron sized phantoms were uh, well resolved with a resolution below uh, 20 microns. Currently, our research efforts are directed in improving resolution, which is expected to be on the order of a few microns, uh, manufacturing of large arrays and developing of parallelization uh, techniques, and of course, clinical translation. Thank you for listening and I'm open for questions.